the most incredible, incredible reconstruction of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. It was so beautifully made and at the detail you know, that the team had gone into to putting it together. My name is Jez Gibson Harris. I'm director of Crawley Creatures Limited and we're based in Buckingham in the UK. And we're making a full-size T-Rex for National Geographic Channel's T-Rex autopsy. This is the biggest single creature that I've created. I mean, this is a 42 foot tip of the nose to tip of the tail beast. This thing is massive. It's huge. For the entirety of the dinosaur, we used uh, 113 pieces of fiberglass um, interconnecting in different varying moulds. This skin is just amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Armour plating. It's so thick. We've got the armature uh, coated in uh, plaster and sealed with shellac. We coat it in about an inch of clay, which is a very calculated process, no more than that. When we smooth it to the nice muscle shapes, um, I will cut texture into it. After that point, we have uh, texture pads sculpted especially for this particular style of beast which is not crocodile, it's more like leathery rhinoceros. What's on the arm? Bristles. It's probably the best description of them. All of those quills, sort of, at, you know, on the back and on the edges of the T-Rex, and each one of those individually debarred. There were goose feathers that stripped off all of the other bits of it just to leave the quill in the middle and then placed them individually, so they you know, planted them in. This is the stomach outer skin. Uh, it's all made in the silicon, so it's nice and squishy and tactile and um, very nasty. We've got the T-Rex tail, it's about seven metres long and uh, there's a team of five people working on it, putting a fiberglass jacket onto the clay sculpture. I mean there's, there's so much artistic effort and detail that we're into it that it would have been a criminal act if we hadn't done our best to sort of make, realise sort of the vision of that team and the effort they put into it. We were getting some very nice reactions. The first group of friends and family that came around, there was a little boy at the front that just walked in and his mouth dropped with this little gog expression and he just said, is that real? And we were like, we've won. 